Tänään me tutustumme opettajan uusiin työvälineisiin. Olemme nyt luokassa, on Today we shall get acquainted with new aids for the teacher. This kind of system also forms a new teaching environment. Formerly, these types of classrooms were known as computer classrooms. Nowadays, when computer-aided teaching is gaining ground, and the computer is only a part of a comprehensive system, we prefer to talk about a multimedia teaching system. Here, students work mostly in pairs. This produces better results and is more meaningful from the point of view of the students. The efficiency of working in pairs is increased further by the use of headset microphones. This means that a lively working pair will not disturb other students and that each pair can work undisturbed, a basic requirement for efficient learning. As the students watch the videotape, the sound is transmitted to their headsets. One student pair is still working on the previous task. The teacher can show them a shortened version of the video film later. The educational network includes a group division facility. This is useful if you want to separate your teaching into different ability groups. The student's assignment is to write a letter to their friendship class in Nottingham on the basis of the video film. The teacher has compiled a short glossary to help the students. The file is transmitted to all the students through the network in a few seconds. The teacher initiates, with remote control, the word processing programs and glossaries at the students' workstations. One partner of the student pair writes the first half of the letter and the other partner the last part. The text is planned and drafted together. Student pair two is calling the teacher with the call teacher key. Well, Using a single key, the teacher can get the picture from the workstation on the teacher display screen and can monitor the working of the students. By pressing the intercom key, the teacher can talk with the student pair. The student pair has a problem correcting an error. The teacher shows them by means of the camera which key to use to carry out the correction. This student pair is still working on an unfinished mathematics problem. One of the student pairs has been assigned the task of drawing pictures of Finland to be enclosed in the letter. The teacher is following the progress of the work on the display screen of the teacher console. The teacher is demonstrating correct word order by means of the pointer function. All the different functions are given in the menu of the teaching network program. This teaching system can be used by all teachers regardless of subject and without any special knowledge on the use of computers. When guiding students, the teacher can take over control of the keyboard at the student workstation. In this way, the teacher can have remote control of the student workstation computer and the program which is being run. This can involve several student pairs simultaneously or even the whole class. The pair working on a mathematics problem has finished their task. The teacher starts an abridged version of the videotape for them. After they have seen it, they join the rest of the class in writing the letter. Some student pairs have misspelled the word 
archipelag. The teacher shows the whole class the correct spelling using the video camera. By means of the network, the teacher is able to give guidance to student pairs almost simultaneously. Students continue working immediately after encountering problems and no time is wasted waiting for help from the teacher. In most cases, computer-aided teaching is done under the control of a teacher. The new teaching environment does not replace the teacher. It is a tool for the teacher and a very efficient tool. The letter written by the first student pair is ready to be printed out. This takes place automatically without the need for any contact or action by the teacher. If the printer is already in use, the work from the student pair enters a queue. The teacher sees on the display screen which students are in the queue. The teacher can choose whether or not the number of the workstation is printed out at the top of each page and whether the printer will always move automatically to the beginning of the next blank page. The text of one of the student pairs was not quite finished, so the teacher copied it onto the teacher console diskette. The lesson is finished. Sometimes part of a lesson is spent without using the computers or videos. In such a case, the equipment is stored out of the way and protected from misuse in the lockable workstations. Why have you been considering the purchase of Videotech equipment? Well, this is actually the only system on the market that supports computer-aided teaching in a practical sense. It has a complete picture channel with connections for a videotape recorder and camera as well as a sound channel and headsets. Without these, it would be difficult to use different groups in teaching, even if the teaching network had a picture channel. The pointer and blackboard functions are very useful, and so too is the teacher call function. The most important thing, however, is that the equipment is so easy to use. When it is used by teachers teaching a variety of subjects, their knowledge of computers is naturally a bit variable. Technically, Visiotech equipment is of very high quality and includes many possibilities for later enlargement. We have also been very satisfied with the training they have provided. Tuo on kolme peräkkäin.